Hey, congratulations on picking up the Ronda Cam from Pro 8mm. This easy to use camera is great for having a ton of fun with Super 8. I'm Noah from Analog Resurgence here on YouTube and I'm going to get you started with how to use the Ronda Cam. On one side of the camera is the door to the film compartment. This is where we load up our plastic Super 8 cartridges and also where the batteries go. Open it up and put in two AA batteries to power the camera. No extra battery for the light meter needed. On the other side of the camera, we have our on off button, as well as a single frame exposure option. When the switch is on the number one, only a single frame is exposed each time you press the trigger. Turning the switch to on gets you started. Pressing down the trigger right at the front of the camera will run the motor. This camera has a fantastic lens and it does a great job when shooting in low light. The viewfinder can be tough to focus with, so make sure to pay attention to the distance markings around the barrel of the lens. In nice bright situations, the camera will have a deep depth of field making it easier to focus. For subjects close to you, turn the lens to 3, and for anything far away, turn the lens to 10. We have a zoom on the lens as well that can be controlled when the camera is running using the switch on top or you can use it manually by sliding the piece on the lens. This piece also lets you do macro focusing. Set the focus to infinity on the lens and slide this piece to the end, lift up, and click into place to enter macro focus mode. For focusing with macro shots, all you need to do is measure your distance using the camera strap. This is the perfect distance to be for in-focus macro shots. It's got the classic built-in orange filter so you can shoot tungsten film outside in daylight and not have the colors look strange. If you're outside, then you set that to sun. If you're inside, you set that to light bulb. The camera has a little light meter window above the lens for automatic exposure, and a small compensation tab that you can lift up if you want to overexpose your image a little bit as well. In our viewfinder, we have some indicators to help us out while shooting. A yellow indicator in the corner means you're on macro mode. A red triangle on the right means you're in low light and your images may come out underexposed. Pressing the battery check button on the side of the camera will give you a red light in the viewfinder to be sure you have good batteries. And a moving indicator at the bottom lets you know when the film in your camera is successfully moving forward. If it's not moving when you're shooting, then your film isn't advancing or you've hit the end of your roll. Keep in mind the film indicator on the side as well to let you know how far you are into the roll of film you're shooting. Now before we load our film, give the film gate a little brush to make sure it's nice and clean, and then you're ready to put in your Super 8 cartridge. They just pop right into the camera and you are ready to shoot, as easy as that. Running at 18 frames per second, this camera will give you about 3.5 minutes worth footage on each Super 8 cartridge. So use it, enjoy it, have fun, and we're all excited to see what you create.